Hello everyone, this is Scott Lowe with IGN Tech here and I have Google Glass. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hey Scott, Google Glass is old. I'm like, I, I know that's old. But uh, the thing is, is that Google Glass is actually still a process where you have to apply to Google and get approved to be a Google Glass Explorer. Uh, well now, we, IGN, are part of The Chosen, and we have one here. And even though it is old, I wanted to show it to you anyways, because it is kind of cool. Uh, so this is Google Glass, not the box, obviously, it's inside. Um, but for $1,500, you could be a Google Glass Explorer, and pending that review process, um, you could have one of these babies, which is Google's new wearable device. This is purely prototype, uh, and it's basically allowing you to use this little integrated screen here to get all sorts of information. Uh, so let's go over the device real quick. So here you've got what is almost certainly the processor and uh, battery supply built into this frame here, but along the side you actually have a touch surface, so it actually allows you to navigate menus with a, kind of a swiping gesture or swiping down, uh, and we, uh, we'll go to that uh, a little later date with Google Glass, but uh, so that's the touch surface. You've got a power button on the inside, a glass button, which I'm not entirely sure what it does, but uh, I'm gonna figure that out soon. And then a shutter button, so if you uh, wanna take camera uh, pictures with your camera. So on the front, you've got a camera, and then on the inside, you have a camera as well. It might be a little hard to see, but that is what actually sees your eye, and in fact, you could do stuff like a winking gesture to actually take a picture. So that's the glass itself. Um, let's see what else they give you in the box. <clears throat> so on the inside here you have a carrying case which uh, comes with its own little earbud thing that you can actually plug into it. So it's got a speaker in, its, in and of itself, but this actually allows you to have a little more private conversation because it, you can hear it from nearby if, it's, uh, if someone's nearby. So uh, it comes with one of those and it plugs in with you via USB into the unit itself. And then on the inside, you have this very fancy looking charging cable. Uh, again, it's a uh, micro USB, so it's uh, the same as your, you know, uh, smartphone charger if you use an Android device or a Windows Phone device. And then you've got the little power adapter that goes to the wall. Again, very, very snazzy looking. And then some, what is almost certainly some sort of printing materials. Probably some certification that you are a uh, explorer. And uh, oh, you've got uh, replacements for the little uh, nose pads that are on the glass itself. Uh, so it's a pretty elaborate supply, but you can also buy sunglasses for the Google Glass. Uh, so if you, I don't know the exact pricing on these, but if you open it up, you have an attachable sunglass lens. So if you want to look all stylish in your Google Glass, and that may be difficult, um, you can attach them that way. So uh, that is the sunglass attachment. So what can you do with Google Glass? Well, it pairs with your smartphone over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth tethering. And from there, you can access, you can connect to the internet and allow it to uh, video conference with other people via Google Hangouts. You can send photos, you can record videos, uh, and there is actually local onboard storage, so you can uh, kind of stick it, share it that way. But then there's other stuff, like you can get directions uh, and have like a HUD that actually shows you like kind of turn-based directions uh, via GPS. So it's, <laughs> it's very futuristic, very interesting. Uh, the exact manifestation, again, is not final. This is really just for getting the concept out there, getting people in, you know, in people's hands, and uh, kind of just sort of building slowly. So they've actually partnered with Warby Parker, who is the kind of famous uh, online glasses supply company uh, who focuses primarily on like kind of inexpensive glassware, so, or glasses, rather. Um, so we'll be seeing more from them hopefully soon. So yeah, this is the Google Glass Explorer edition. We will be uh, kind of checking it out, doing more posts on it soon. Uh, but for all things Google Glass and technology, go to IGN.com.